right before Christmas, a good guy in red is coming to theaters with his new sidekick, Fred. Why am I here? You're in a PG-13 version of Deadpool. Filtered through the prism of childlike innocence. I'm a grown man. And nobody man. does childlike innocence like you, Fred. Nobody. I need you almost as much as you need me. I don't need you at all. You need me to untie you once we're done. Can you, do you have equal leg crossing abilities? I do. You, this, you don't know how to... This one's tighter. I don't know. It's not as good. I think... This should be deducted <laughs> from the time. I'm sorry. Stuart, wait, let me just tie that shoe. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because women, I don't know. We Maybe cross our legs to often. Be, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm, I'm you comfortable? Like I think I need to practice here. Okay, you'll have to practice okay. maybe a little bit after. <laughs> okay. But okay, so you're in a superhero movie playing yourself though, so no superpowers. No, just the ones I normally have. Yeah, well, which ones would you say those are? They're spectacular. Are? Um, they're not, you know, put to use in this film, I don't think. <laughs> but yes, I'm now in the, a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as myself. As yourself, yeah. Tied to a bed. Yeah, pretty interesting. If you could take a power, though, from someone in the X-Force, who would you, whose would you take? Oh, great question, great question. Oh, that's a good question. Like, um, I'd want to be lucky all the time. Well, oh, yeah, that's, I mean, I feel like <laughs> that, so you accept that that is a superpower? I, yes, Okay. I totally would. I am on board with that, I think you're right, I think you're right. Nice, nice, and you did even reveal in this film as the character, as yourself. A lot of comic book knowledge. Are, how much are you into the comic book universe geekdom fan well, knowledge? Well, in this instance, I, I am not a Deadpool fan. And, <laughs> uh, and so they, wow. they, they gave me all these things to read. And they said, read this, read these, you know, and we'll let you go. And so <laughs> I did. And they did, to their credit. Okay, and they let you go. They're like, we can cut you out of bed. Yeah, we, you can leave now. <laughs> you did what we asked you to do. So I will say that, you know, I like movies, you know, and I like Marvel movies. Yeah. I love Marvel movies. Love them. Um, uh, not a Deadpool fan. Okay. And less so now. Wow. <laughs> and less so yes. now. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. Having met him in person, it's... <laughs> Not great. But Ryan had some nice words for you on Twitter. He said you were a handsome sandwich. What would you What would you call Ryan? You can use air quotes. Feel free. What I call Ryan? Yeah, he called you a handsome sandwich. Oh, okay. Uh, I call him um, a uh, a greedy, shameless celebrity who will do anything to humiliate people and make money. Air quotes. <laughs> wow. Detailed, yeah. detailed, wow. But Blake seems very nice. Yeah, she seems very sweet. Yeah. I mean, they seem great together. Yeah. You know, you and Ryan are actually really great together on screen. You guys are pretty brilliant, funny to watch. What was the chemistry like on set between you two? Not great, <laughs> uh, not great. I was there uh, against my will, as you know, and I did whatever I had to do uh, to get out of there. Um, you know, and if that was like, oh, let's be friends and be buddies and smile, you know, uh, fake it till you make it. I imagine there were some things that didn't make it into Once Upon a Deadpool. Anything funny or maybe disturbing that you remember? I didn't see the movie. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Oh no. I don't know what they. I don't know. I just. I just. I don't know. Yeah, you just blocking some of it. Yeah, out. Yeah, right. It's some some of the nightmare out. Trauma. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. I wish him well. I yeah. wish him well. But you do have to tell me, you know, Dead <laughs> wish him well. But Deadpool and um, Princess Bride are, you know, two movies I wouldn't really think to marry together, especially around yes. the holidays. Thank you. What were your first thoughts upon hearing that and then I guess being kidnapped to be in it? My first thought was this is a terrible idea. Why would you do that? Um, this is a movie that's meant so much to so many people, uh, myself <laughs> included. Why would you just just spray your Deadpool all over this thing? And um, and that's my, my current thought. You know, that's my first thought and all my other thoughts until now. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, they are marketing it. It is going to be a holiday film. What, what holiday wishes would you try to wish fans who want to see this movie? Or, you know, fans of Deadpool? Well, or maybe The Princess Bride, if that makes it more, you know, a little more warm, a little more fuzzy. I wish everyone a happy holidays, a time spent with their families um, and their loved ones. Uh, I wish everyone uh, peace and charity and goodwill towards men. And uh, if you would like to see Once Upon a Deadpool, uh, I, I can't imagine why, but there is something good about it, um, which could not have been Ryan's idea. 
uh, where a dollar of every ticket is going to be given to what they're renaming Fudge Cancer, which is an incredible uh, cancer research uh, foundation, uh, and a dollar for every ticket's being given to them um, for this for this once upon a Deadpool. So, in the spirit of you know charity and goodwill towards men and fellowship and helping those in need, uh, you can go see it. Or what I would do it's what I would be telling my friends to do is buy the ticket and then just leave. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So great to speak with you.